Hey, Gus, how are you? Good, Stephen. How are you doing? Great, great. Um, just a, a quick question um, on Sunday before we move forward. Um, when a team throws quick the way they did, obviously you're not going to you know, get to the quarterback very often. Uh, but but when when you do see that in the future and teams are willing to be patient that way, you know, what how do you counter that? What's what's the what's the answer for that? Well, I mean, as we say, it starts up front. So you're right. We have seen a lot of quick game. So first of all, up front, you know, when they recognize it, their hands up, you know, try to get more bad at balls. Somehow you got to affect the quarterback. It may not be rush, you know, sacks in a quick game opportunity unless you get a quick win. And then on the back end, just tighter coverage, you know, um, you know, reading three step, reading quick game, you know, where everybody sees it the same way. Uh, at times we are and at times we're not. So, uh, you know, and then you just got to be able to use the technique that, we, you know, we practice with and and, um, you know, quick recognition. Nate Atkins. And just to expand that to the coverage element of it, I mean, what, what can your outside cornerbacks do to sort of make life harder? Because uh, you had several defenders who felt like it just was uh, pitch and catch and they just were able to run with free releases. And I imagine that's not how it's supposed to look. Right. Well, and, and that's where it comes back to technique, uh, you know, using the technique, you know, there's a certain protocol, you know, to recognizing formations, understanding formations, and then using the proper technique so you get quicker recognition. So it's that along with, you know, we played some man coverage, you know, to get tighter on them. We did do that in game. So, you know, it, it's a combination of, uh, you know, all those aspects. Joel Erickson. Uh, Gus, the uh, the front you guys were playing and installing was, at least to my understanding, pressure oriented. Why don't you think you guys have been able to get much pressure on the quarterback so far? Well, uh, you know, it's never an excuse, right? I mean, we just heard it where the teams are doing, you know, a lot of quick game. I think the first game and the second game combined, you know, one of the quickest releases that you know, that has been in the league so thus far with the quarterback. So, you know, the ability to play tighter coverage and, you know, it will get the quarterback to hitch it some. And, um, you know, I think we all think that tighter coverage means man, and that is a good point, you know, but you try to confuse the quarterback, make him hitch to where you get time for the rush to get there. So whether it's tighter coverage through man, tighter coverage in zone where we recognize formations and we use the right technique, you know, and then change up the looks. On on film, do you see pass rushers winning, you know, as the quarterbacks letting the – like, what have you guys seen from the pass rushers on film? If, if there's more time, would they be getting there? Well, it's it, – you know, a lot of times with quick, quick game, Joel, you got to win right away. And uh, they did some things, you know, up front with, against our front uh, technique-wise. And, um, you know, they jumped us real quick on some of the quick game and things like that. So when they do that, you've got to win early and you got to be understand formations and and the recognition part of it of the block. So but just, I, you know, I think it just needs to be tightened up across the board. You know, uh, like I said, I think way in the beginning that some of this, it takes some time, you know, to, uh, you know, get the techniques down and understanding and recognizing things. So we're continuing to work on that, but that will be an emphasis this week as well. James Boyd. Gus, obviously things might look a lot different without Shaquille Leonard being in there, but how does this team find some energy, some juice on defense? If he can't go, how do you cultivate that, that heartbeat that he sort of brings whenever he's out there? Right. Well, we got to create that energy. You know, there's at, at times it's really good football. You know, when you you look at the running stats the last couple of weeks, you know, there's been a lot of rushing yards in the league and we're doing a good job there. So the victories, you know, coming back in the second half, we had one bad series. And then after that, number of three and outs, just like the first game. So the challenge for us is to do it the whole game you know, to play that way the whole game and create our own energy. But ex getting excited for your teammates, you know, it's, it's, you know what, what comes first? Does the energy comes and then you play faster, you play fast and the energy comes. That's always the million dollar question. So, but, I, you know, we got a spirited group on defense 
And uh, I think, you know, the whole objective is to ensure that we play fast. And right now we're thinking a little bit too much out there. And when you're thinking, it's hard to show that emotion consistently. So we got to do a good job with our staff and presenting it to the defense in order to get that, you know, where they're playing with great freedom. Mike Chapman. Yeah, guys, you talked about, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you talked about the quick releases you've seen. Probably won't see that Sunday. I mean, Casey does that. How do you prepare when, with Mahomes, a play is really never over? It, it isn't. You know, our plaster rules have to be in fact. I mean, a big emphasis on our rush, you know, keeping him in the pocket. Because when he does get out of the pocket, that's has a tendency or great chance for big plays to occur. So the ability to keep them into a pocket, and they are. They're an RPO, quick game team that takes shots. They have the whole gamut. They got movement passes. They have it all. So we're going to really have to be on our details. Um, you know, I think there was a time when you played Kansas City, a, you know, get in the shell and just keep everything in front of you because there's so many shots. Well, I think they've done a really, really good job where they're pretty balanced in all those areas. And on top of it, they got a good run game. So they can really affect you in many different areas. So that's the, that's the big challenge about Kansas City. Got a few more here. George Bremer. Yes, there's been a lot of, it seems like 12, 14 play drives, which seems to indicate that there's not a lot of big plays that you're giving up, which I know is one of the goals. How do you, though, get off the field more often on third down? It seems like that's one of the things that, that's really holding the defense back. You're right. I think uh, you're exactly right. Try to eliminate big plays, but, you know, the parts where the, the quick game, now they get you in the third and twos and third and threes where you got to win. When we're in the third and seven to 10 range, we're doing pretty good. So the objective is to get them in those. And that's, you know, on second nine where you can make plays, you know, continually to keep them in those third and long situations. But that's what I felt like there was times, you know, in our game where we got them to, you know, third down, we won, they won on fourth down. Or, you know, as a third down situation and short yardage, and maybe we had the right, but we, you know, that we had quitty drop on one of them, you know, they ran a crosser to them, but extended the play and they got the first down. So winning on third down is a big part of us. I know we brought a lot of pressure on third down or more so than usual uh, this week. And then you got to win your one-on-ones. And, um, you know, we got to, we got to make sure we get to the quarterback and we got to play tight coverage to win on those third downs. But that, that is a big part of it. Winning on third down will be a big part of it this week, too. They're pretty good in that area. And I think they're averaging like third and five, you know, through the course of two games. So they're doing a good job in getting those third downs in manageable positions. Kevin Bowen. Hey, Gus, what do you need to see more from Isaiah Rogers to push for playing time? Well, he's doing an awful good job in practice. And, um, you know, as we go through it, and, and see it. there's times we're looking at it this week um, with the receiving threats that they have, you know, we're game planning right now. So we'll see it how it plays out, but he's doing a good job in practice. And, and if he was playing, we wouldn't blink, you know, and uh, sometimes when, you know, those opportunities present themselves, you got to be ready. And that's the challenge for him. Well, last one here, Nate Atkins. Yeah, just, uh, just, Talk about the Chiefs. I mean, I know you're, you're trying to still build out this scheme and get guys comfortable in it, but, you know, Patrick Mahomes has a long history of a lot of success against single high safety and, and those kind of looks. So is, is this a week where you, you could try and switch things up a little bit, or is it that important just to, to kind of stick to what you do and build it uh, for the long haul? Well, I, I disagree with that part of it, the, the early statement. I think earlier, you know, we played a lot of single high against them and did some really good things, um, you know, points-wise held them down. You know, the last year, you know, I think we had a game where we had a lot of turnovers and then it kind of got the score caught up on us. So we're just going to have to do a good job. You know, obviously a quarterback like this, mixing up the looks, doing different things, but playing fast. They do a great job of getting the receivers the ball, their backs the ball, and operate in space. We're going to have to do a good job regardless, whatever we're playing, uh, of doing a, you know, a good job tackling in space, giving some different looks, and then uh, execution. But each of these games, it comes down, just like you mentioned before, the, the quick game, we're not executing there real well. You know, we need to execute better and, um, 
you know, put our players in better position to make these plays and then see where we're at after that. 